Under new guidelines published on Thursday, not everyone with high blood pressure needs to take medication. Dr. Ola Akimboye, I can do that. Dr. Ola Akimboye joins us to discuss these new guidelines. He is a cardiologist and president of the Association of Black Cardiologists. Dr. Akimboye, welcome back to Arise America. It's glass. great to see you. Thanks, Debbie. It's always a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it's good to see you. Now, let me just, let's do a little bit of, re of, of a review. What was the conventional wisdom as it, ref uh, as it related to the guidelines for taking medication with high blood pressure? And then tell us what the new guideline is. Well, the traditional guidelines uh, basically demand for treatment of blood pressure when it goes above 140 over 90. 140 being the systolic blood pressure, which is pressure in the blood vessels when the heart is actually pumping. And 90 uh, being the diastolic blood pressure, which is the pressure in the blood vessels when your heart is relaxing between contractions. So we like to keep those at 140 over 90. And often we start treatment by changing lifestyle, you know, controlling diet, reducing salt. And if we don't get the results that we need, then we start treatment. Mm -hmm. Now, the new guidelines actually sort of, you know, basically uh, tones down a little bit about lifestyle changes and is recommending going to treatment, but starting treatment only when blood pressure gets to 150 over 90 for individuals above the age of 60. So that's a remarkable difference uh, from the current stance because that is a population that has the highest prevalence of high blood pressure. Approximately 66% of uh, adults above the age of 60 uh, have, high blood, have high blood pressure. So what we're recomm they're recommending now, uh, that group, is that we should reserve treatment in that population until systolic blood pressure goes above 150. Well, so many things to ask you about this. I guess the first one is, how do you feel about this new guideline in your organization? Well, um, personally, I think we might be missing uh, uh, the forest for the trees here. Mm. Because I think the focus on uh, these cutoffs, uh, 140 over 150, uh, creates an unnecessary diversion. Uh, the way I see it, when you look at the big picture, uh, the problem with blood pressure still remains the fact that one third of U.S. adults over the age of 18 uh, suffer from high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to keep working on improving awareness of blood pressure, improving treatment rates. And we've done a great job there. I mean, at this point, about 80% of individuals with high blood pressure know they have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And that's a marked improvement from where we were in the past. About 50% of people with high blood pressure are actually treated to, the, to a goal of less than 140 over 90. Mm -hmm. So we've made some progress, and we need to stay on that track, talking about awareness, getting people to treatment. And, but you see, the fine tuning about whether it should be 140 or 150, I think it's a little bit too much detail. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not quite sure that there is really any problem with treating someone with a blood pressure of, uh, down to a blood pressure of 140, I'm not sure they're going to do any real harm. So I'm not quite sure that is really the way we want to focus our attention right now. I think we need to stay with awareness, mm -hmm. improving ac access to medication, and improving adherence to treatment. Well, what's the, in, in terms of that, what's the reality that doctors will accept this new guideline? Uh, uh, because there, there is a lot of dis disagreement with it, and uh, also the risk of high blood pressure in that age group yes. uh, is quite significant. Yeah, um, it's um, basically we're talking now about a situation where there are a lot of divisions. I mean, the American Heart Association is arguing that we should remain with the old guidelines, and the, even the International Society of Hypertension in Blacks is actually saying that we should even go lower, you know, bring systolic blood pressure down to 135 in individuals with high, in black individuals with high blood pressure, and even down to 130 in black individuals with high blood pressure who have already suffered a stroke or a heart attack. So we now have all these different guidelines that are creating confusion. I think we need to go back. I don't think anything was really wrong with the old guidelines of 140 over 90. Um, yes, I understand the, when you look at the studies that have looked at patients above the age of 60, many of these studies were done with a cutoff of 150, and that's where the new guidelines came from. Mm -hmm. uh, but the reality is, when you tell, it's like when you increase the speed limit, 
uh, from 65 to 75. People drive at 80. <laughs> so what's going to happen is when you have a situation where you increase the cutoff to 150, then you're going to see people living patients at blood pressures of 160, 170, where you can actually do a lot of harm. Well, and let me ask you this, too, because um, the many patients, and again, this is about this age group, this, yes. the 60 and older, yes. they take a lot of different medications. Yes. So there is, a, there is an upside, if you will, uh, to this guideline and this one less pill for these patients to take. Yeah. Um, or, or is that outweighed by the risk? Yes, I, I think it might because, again, keep in mind in the old system, we advocate not going right to medication at 140. You start with lifestyle modifications encourage a low salt diet, encourage exercise. And it's only if you're not able to achieve a goal of less than 140 over 90 after implementing all these lifestyle changes that you start treatment. Mm -hmm. Now, with the new guidelines, it's, it, we're saying go right to treatment at 150. So I'm not quite sure the argument that there will be fewer pills actually holds. It might not hold. It might not hold. All right. We're going to have to leave it right there. <laughs> okay. uh, and the bottom line is to talk to your doctor because this That's is right. all com uh, very confusing. Absolutely. Otherwise, Dr. Ola Akamboye, thank you so much. Always a pleasure, Debbie. Yeah, Thanks for having you. me.